Hi, my name is Chris Clark, and I'm a program manager on the Windows User Experience team. I'm here to tell you how we've designed Windows 8 for PCs that boot faster than ever before. On new Windows 8 PCs, there's no longer time to press keys to interrupt boot, so we've added new ways to get to the boot options from within Windows. I'm going to show you two ways that we do this. The first way is from PC settings. You swipe in, go to PC settings, and on the general tab, go all the way to the bottom. Here we have a new item, Advanced Startup, that describes the capabilities of the device and provides a quick and easy way to get to the boot options menu. So I'll do that now. Here in this menu, you're going to see the capabilities of the device and new ways to get to the boot options that you're familiar with. Here on the top screen, you'll see the user device item. This allows you to boot to USB, network, or removable media such as DVD. As you can see here, I have a USB flash drive plugged in, and I can boot to it from this menu directly. Going back up to the top menu, we'll go into Troubleshoot. You'll see here that I have entry points to the UE5 firmware settings, as well as Windows startup settings. Windows startup settings include familiar items such as safe mode, low resolution video mode, and disabling driver signature enforcement. So this is one way to get to these items. I'm going to show you a second way. We'll restart back into Windows and access the same menu, but from the logon screen. This ensures that even users who can't sign in can still get to the boot options menu. We'll access the shutdown menu in the bottom right. And when I tap on restart, I'm going to hold down the shift key. This is a new way to enter the boot options menu directly from the logon screen. I just showed you how we've designed Windows 8 for PCs that boot faster than ever before. We're excited for you to try it out for yourselves.